Hello everyone and welcome back to La Vida Football. My name is Luis Laureano. I'm a UEFA B licensed coach from California, currently living and coaching in Germany. Today's video is a rondo training exercise that is focused on improving the reaction after a loss of possession. If you are new to the channel, subscribe and turn on your notifications as I come out with soccer videos every week. Now this particular video is actually geared more towards coaches as it is a training exercise that is uh, purposeful and that coaches can use during their training session. One more thing, if you're a soccer coach and you want to take your coaching to the next level, I have a special offer for you at the end of the video. So watch until the end, but for now, let's get started. Hey coaches, I hope you liked the video so far. If you do, remember to kick that like button as it helps this channel grow and it allows me to create more content such as this for you guys. So the second defender is determined by you, the coach. And I'm gonna give you guys three options of how you can determine the second defender. So the first option is the predetermined option. So what that means is at the beginning of the exercise, you as the coach organize your players into pairs and then every time one player from a pair loses the ball, then that player goes with. So for example, my pair is Mike. If I lose the ball, then Mike comes with me and vice versa. Mike loses the ball, I go with him. The second option is based on the next pass, meaning if I intend to pass to my teammate Mike and I misplace the pass or the ball gets stolen or intercepted, then I go and then Mike goes. If I pass the ball to Mike and he cannot control the pass, then I go and Mike goes. Okay, so then this is the next pass option. So the third option is determined by the players. So for example, if a player loses the ball, then they call out a name from one of the three teammates that they have in their grid. So for example, I lose the ball and I have Tim, Mike, and Jake as my options. I yell out one name and then we go. So those are the three options that I have for you. So in the comment section below, comment one, two, three to tell me which one was your favorite option. Let's get back to the video. So coaches, I hope you liked the video. If you do, remember, kick 
kick that like button as it supports the channel. So I have five details for you if you plan to do this rondo exercise during your training. Now the first one we have already spoken about and that is the second defender. So you can determine how the second defender is chosen. I gave you three options. But if you have another option that you thought about as you were watching this video, comment that in the comment section below so, so everybody watching this video can also benefit from that thought. The next thing is the number of players. In this exercise, I organized it with 16 players. But of course, if you do not have 16 players, then you have to modify the number of players inside each grid. So for example, if you have 11 players, you obviously cannot do four, four, and four, right? With two defenders in two of those three grids. But if you have 11, for example, you can do three versus one, three versus one. And then the group that has no defenders is a group of three. Another thing that you can modify are the touches. Depending on the type of players that you have, you could do a three touch, two touch, or one touch limit. So another thing that could be modified is the grid size. If you wanna have more touches, quick touches, then you do a smaller grid. But let's say you wanna encourage some one-on-ones, then you can make the grid a little bit bigger so that you encourage players to also try to do one-on-one. -on -one. The last thing are pennies. You as a coach can determine whether you want pennies or not. I personally would not want to just because the reaction is more important than the player getting a penny and then going to the next grid. So I care more about the reaction of just going from attacking to defending rather than being an attacker, losing the ball, worrying about which penny to get or where the penny is and then going to defend. But you can determine whether you wanna use pennies or not. It's okay, that is just my personal opinion as to why I wouldn't wanna use pennies for this exercise. So coaches, I did say that I have a special offer for you at the end of this video. First of all, thank you. Hit that like button. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on your notifications. And that special offer is essentially the Coach's Voice Academy. This particular exercise actually got inspired by one of the training exercises that I saw on the Coach's Voice Academy. Okay, so now this is an online platform for coaches to essentially develop themselves. As you can see training videos, there are interviews from coaches and a lot of training exercises with a full training session. Now this is very good because if you are a coach and you don't get to see too much of professional training, so this platform can essentially fill that void. So I have been registered for the Coach's Voice Academy now for about a month and there is so much that I have learned and I, I personally have improved uh, a lot since then, especially during this Corona time that there is not too too much activity going on this is another way for you just to keep learning to keep your coaching mentality active if you are interested i have linked that in the description section below full disclosure if you click on that link and you register for the seven day free trial then that helps this channel grow as well so thank you guys for watching i hope you guys liked the video i'll see you guys next time ciao